Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I want to thank you for joining me. This is for those of you who feel that you are in a relationship with your life partner and what this week has in store for you. So angels, what messages do you have for those couples who are with their life partner for May 9th through the 16th? Okay, that one wanted to pop. The Ace of Wands just wanted to pop out there, but it didn't quite get there. Beautiful. Okay, the bottom of the deck is a seven of pentacles, a card of patience, um, taking your time and healing and waiting for that person that is the right person to come into your life. Your advice from angels. Love yourself first and the bottom of the deck is soulmate so um, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive before you can um, call in a soulmate a life partner um, any kind of partner um, other than one of a karmic partner or of those or that type of relationship you have to heal you have to love yourself first or it will not be successful so this week, I see you guys, um, you are so, so very close to closing a chapter in your life. It's the backside of the world. And as soon as this chapter closes, you have your life partners are coming in. And I see that happening because by the end of the week, here's what you're waiting on. You're waiting on the death of something to allow things to um, fall away so that you can close this chapter. Um... Some of you are waiting for somebody to come back. For another group of you, you have your eye on somebody, but you're just not quite sure how to approach them. Because this person comes from a very logical place. They don't really lead with their heart. They um, Everything seems to be like calculated through the logical path instead of the path of following your heart. So you're not quite sure how to approach this person, but it's okay because you are being guided to each other. You guys are total opposites, you know, earth and fire, um, gold and silver, black and white. You guys are total opposites, but you guys are going to, um, you guys are going to complement each other just am absolutely amazing. And this person is going to, um provide you with a life of love and happiness that you have never experienced before in this lifetime. So it's going to be very exciting for you. I'm just getting some clarifying cards on here quick. All right, you have the world here twice in the reverse so you are getting communication though this week um, communication is coming in and it's going to allow you to walk away with the five of swords allow the death of this whatever it is that is holding you back could be um, 
it could be uh, an ex, it could be family, whatever, whoever is standing in your way from closing out this chapter of your past, you're going to get communication from them. It's going to be a quick message in, and it's going to give you the courage, the strength, or just finally make you mad enough, you're going to walk away. You're going to allow that to come to an end, and that in turn will close that uh, chapter in your life and allow trans formations to come in it'll allow the healing process to start and spirit is saying with this card that you know who your soulmate is you know who your life partner is already you have met this person and they give you butterflies when you think about them they are going to come towards you um, they are going to give you a love offer you're going to feel, though, however, it is not everything you had hoped it would be. You are hoping for something bigger, but you have to heal first. You have to love yourself first. You have to take the time to heal from this chapter that you're currently trying to close. And once you do that, then the offer is going to become um, bigger and more stable. This person is also holding back, however, because they are thinking from a logical place in their heart, uh, in their mind instead of from their heart because they have been betrayed in the past as well. They are getting over heartbreak. They're not quite over it. And they have the world in reverse as well. They are getting over this um, backstabbing energy. So that's why they're thinking more with their head and not with their heart because last time they thought with their heart, somebody stabbed it. Um, so they're just throwing themselves into work trying not to deal with um, the hurt and pain that whoever the person of their past is has caused them. With a lover's card, you're going to have something stable. You're going to uh, you're going to have news of something coming in. It's going to try it's going to make you uh, want to hold tight to your emotions, hold tight to your heart because you don't want it broken. But Spirit is encouraging you to make it very well known to the universe what it is that you want, what it is that you intend to manifest, what it is that your future holds. Because Spirit is bringing it to you. You are manifesting. And it is going to be such a huge cause for celebration. You guys are going to be so happy because you're manifesting this life partner. You are manifesting this person to come into your life and help you to be your partner, to be your friend, to be somebody that you can turn to, that you can confide in, and that you can trust. And keep working on yourself, keep healing, and while you're self-healing, they are also trying to heal from a bad relationship, but you guys are going to come together very shortly. Um, after probably the 15th of the month, uh, things are going to start moving in a forward progress and you're going to see a lot of changes coming in. Um, it may not, it may not turn into a full blown relationship right after the 15th, but you guys are going to be moving in that direction and just keep, keep the universe very well informed on what it is you want because you're going to manifest it. It's going to be yeah, it's going to be so, your emotions are just going to be so overwhelmed with happiness and joy when this person um, and you come together because this is the relationship you've always wanted but never had and it's for real. It's here. So Spirit's advice to you is just to keep healing, to keep working on yourself, to reach out to that person that you know who you want it to be with that uh, Ace of Cups and the High Priestess, you know. So reach out to these people and uh, and it's going to work out in your favor. So I hope you guys have a great week. Good luck. Um, continue to heal your beautiful souls. And until next time, God bless.